Hey everybody, it's Jason Blaha here, and I thought I would have another one of these relaxing arts and crafts chats. And uh, I had a subscriber ask a question, and I think this question is absolutely worthy of addressing. And uh, so let's get into that question and let's really answer it. Because he'd ask, you know, basically he actually is pissed off. He's not really <laughs> asking a question so much as angry at me. For talking about supplements hurting people when there are a billion people in the world who smoke cigarettes and uh, here I am harping on supplements and the negative potential health effects of taking supplements with all these smokers and why am I not harping on smoking well because quite frankly people who smoke cigarettes aren't concerned with their fitness everyone who smokes cigarettes already knows they're bad for their health Cigarettes are not being touted to the fitness community as things that improve your health. Now, they were 80 or 90 years ago until the science caught up and then uh, people realized this was false marketing, that cigarettes were not good for your health, that they were in fact bad for your health. Now, every single school child in school is taught this. Every medical doctor tells their patients who smoke this and pretty much every human being just about on earth in any educated country knows that cigarettes are bad for you that cigarettes raise blood pressure that cigarettes can contribute to cardiovascular disease heart attacks strokes and top of the list of lung cancer this is extremely well known and taught in every single school therefore accordingly people who smoke don't care about the risks they just started smoking for whatever reason and uh, chose to ignore the risks. And they're not being doing it for their actual health. People who are taking supplements, the vast majority, are not aware that supplements are for the most part actually worthless. They're not aware of the actual risk and I'll prove it to you. Uh, before any of you started watching my channel, how many of the people who are watching this right now were aware that around a third of nutritional science researchers and PhDs believe that taking multivitamins might actually cause organ damage or dietary imbalances, meaning it could cause uh, toxicity of certain metals or blocking the absorption of other metals that you need for your diet. So it can cause dietary imbalance or organ damage. Literally a third of the experts in the field believe that. The top experts in the world do you see vitamin companies touting this? Do you see this a Surgeon General's warning on your multivitamin? Does it say on there might cause organ damage? Might cause dietary imbalance? No, people aren't educated on something that thousands of researchers actually believe to be the case of an actual risk there. They think that they're taking multivitamins to improve their health when they very well might be hurting themselves by taking them because they've been marketed nonsense by an industry just like the cigarette industry did the same thing and we've already debunked that it's been uncovered everyone knows they're bad for you now the cigarette industry isn't doesn't do that anymore because we've uh, educated everyone so cigarettes aren't doing what the vitamin industry does right now they used to but they can't anymore how many people here watching this before they started watching my channel or me talking about this knew that over a dozen supplement companies have been caught putting illegal drugs in their supplements anybody how many people here knew before i started talking about this that people who have taken only over-the-counter supplements have failed drug tests and their sport for anabolic steroids and stimulants that turned out to actually be in the over-the-counter supplements and not listed on the label. How many people here were aware that quite a few pre-workouts have been found to contain meth analogs, methamphetamine analogs in them? Not on the label. And people have failed drug tests at their job for crystal meth or other amphetamines that they weren't aware they were taking and have possibly lost their job as a result of it. So, 
if I'm not going to try to educate an entire community about the risk of cigarettes when they're already aware of them. Everyone already knows cigarettes are bad for you, but not everyone is aware that most supplements don't do anything towards your actual goals of gaining muscle or losing fat. Most people who are in this industry, even the fitness industry, aren't aware that vitamins, that even vitamin supplements could actually harm you. Most of them are not aware that they could be taking illegal drugs that they could fail a drug test for, even uh, recreational drugs in there, uh, at their actual job by taking over-the-counter supplements that they thought were safe to take or that they could actually develop an addiction to the illegal drugs that are in them. Whether it's uh, reduced testosterone due to taking too many uh, anabolics that are inside the protein powders or the various uh, products guaranteed to give you muscle growth, all the way to amphetamine addiction as a result of taking pre-workouts and fat burners spiked with amphetamines. If I don't educate this community on this, and or no one bothers to, then how are people going to know? How are they going to know that these products are actually, for the most part, bad for them, risky, minimal benefit, and are just garbage being sold to them by everyone else in the industry? Everyone else in YouTube Fitness, almost everybody, a few exceptions, are selling you this garbage. They're not telling you the truth about it. They're just selling you this garbage because they're getting uh, sponsorships. They're getting kickbacks for it. In fact, many of them may actually take them and believe they work. But they're all making money off of it. So if everyone else in YouTube Fitness is not telling you the truth and I don't, how are people going to know? So why shouldn't I be focusing on this instead of cigarettes? Uh, anyone who's watching a YouTube Fitness channel regularly probably already knows cigarettes are bad for you. They don't know that there are health risks associated with taking their multivitamin every day or even worse, doubling up and taking two of them. Or that they could fail a drug test because of the muscle builder, pre-workout or fat burner they're taking. Because there's drugs in there sometimes not on the label. If I don't tell people, then how are they going to know? Because this community, as a majority, aren't aware of these facts. The majority take these products. Somebody has to tell them. All right, guys, but that's really all I have to say on that today. I hope it's been informative, and I will talk to you guys next time.